Welcome to the show, my friends. The signs of spring are everywhere, from the longer days to the colorful flowers to the fact that I'm really in need of a pedicure. Uh, but as a nod to sunshine that's coming, and please let the sunshine come, we thought we'd lighten up our cocktail routine. Esquire magazine named Roquette Cocktails and Spirits in Belltown as one of the best bars in America. So, of course, we asked bar manager Kite and Blair for a few ideas. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Amity. Pleasure being here. Esquire magazine. That's pretty cool. Yeah, top 25 bars in America is not so bad. All right. Represent in Seattle. We love that. And we love the fact that you're here and you're making specifically cocktail-based, uh, coffee-based cocktails. Why is that kind of a nod to spring? It's just kind of a little extra pick-me-up. The sun's mm -hmm. coming out. We need a little bit more pep in our step. Yeah. We're moving. We're doing stuff. We're spring cleaning. We're having fun. I am here for that. I love it. So what are we making today? Because I know we, I see three cocktails lined out here. And all right, if we must try them all, we must. Yes, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. It is. That's what they say. <laughs> so what's the first one we should get started with? First one we're going to get started with is kind of like a riff on a traditional uh, espresso martini. Okay. Normally it's vodka based. We're going to do a little tequila. Oh, tequila. Everyone's loving tequila. It burns the calories. It does? It's just good. Yes, it's good for you. All right. Well, the celebrities are doing it. Yeah. Wh what's not to love? So you use a Blanco. Blanco, Pueblo Viejo. Big thing here, 100% uh, agave. And you say to make sure you look for that in every bottle of tequila you buy. Absolutely. And it's it's to, a must. You have to trust him because he has an agave tattooed on his arm, so he, he knows these things. Yes, it's very important. So we're going to start off with just one ounce of the tequila here. Okay. That's not too aggressive. I not can get behind not, that. Not too bad. Not too bad. There's, there's plenty of other options going on here. Uh, some triple sec. We're going to do a half ounce of the triple sec. Okay. Triple sec. Give it a little florality, bring out some of the floral flavors of the coffee. So it's kind of like a margarita coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very coffee similar. Coffee margarita, but coffee not. Coffee margarita. No, yeah. this is the Sunshine Espresso Martini, just FYI. That's it, that's it. A little bit of cold brew liqueur. You can use whatever coffee you like. Okay. Uh, fresh brewed uh, espresso works just fine as well. Does it have to be a really dark coffee, or can I just use the coffee I brew at home in the morning? Coffee brew at home is fine. Okay, but the dark sometimes I have extra, so you know. I'll let it sit out for a day, put it in the fridge, boom, cold brew. Okay. And there you go, a little uh, pro tip for free there. That is <laughs> awesome. It's okay to let it sit out. Yeah. I'm not gonna get some sort of horrible no, yeah, 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 yeah. Put it. No, not at all. Just uh, let sit out for a little bit, put it in the fridge, right as rain. The things you'll learn on New Day, you're welcome. Okay. All right, and then this, this? This, is the, this is the uh craft seeker right here. This is the Mr. Black cold brew liqueur. Ooh. So we do an ounce and a half of that. Cold brew liqueur. Yes, uh, made in Australia. Okay. Three single origin coffee beans, wow. fortified with Australian winter wheat and a little bit of sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay, the, I didn't know that. The, I'm excited to try this. Yeah, the important thing with that uh, particular product is it starts with the coffee. That's they roast it at the at the distillery and then they blend it together. Oh, so okay. So it actually tastes like coffee. If you look at the bottle, there's actually a little bit of sediment on the bottom there. Oh, I see that. And that's how you can tell it's made with real coffee. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna shake this bad boy up. Shaken, not stirred. No. And if you would do the honors. I would. I would like. Well, I hope it's. There it is. Is there this it is. your shaker or ours? That's my shaker. Okay, good oh, yeah. because. Ours is, is not so, uh, is that good enough? That's good. We'll give it one more good one here. Yeah. Oh, see, okay, that's how it's done. I didn't put my back into it. It's all right. It's I didn't all right. commit. I need to fully commit. Um, I really uh, enjoy the fact that it comes out kind of foamy when you shake it that much. Yeah. Look at that. Nice and frothy here. Frothy. Frothy, foamy. I'm thinking latte, so I'm thinking foam, but this is a froth. I cannot wait to try this. All right. Ooh. It is. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. To you. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. <gasps> Okay, I'm going to take these and put them over here. Because <laughs> take, to take that away from me. Yes. All right, let's do the coffee highball. All right, coffee highball. What says spring more than a little bit of grapefruit? I love grapefruit, but are you going to make grapefruit and coffee right now? Because I, I, I don't know if I'm a believer yet. I am, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. The aromatics in the grapefruit go wonderfully with the aromatics of coffee. So once again, another ounce and a half of Mr. Black. Okay. Nothing too crazy here. This is so good, this Mr. Black. It really has that intense coffee flavor without being too bitter, which I like. Yeah, or too, or too sugary either, okay. right? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's very, very important. So we got a little ice. I'm really interested to see how this whole grapefruit thing is going to happen. Nice there. 
Tell me about Roquette as you're mixing up this cocktail. Yeah, Roquette is a French-inspired bar opened by my boss, Eric Hakkinen, who is kind of a Seattle legend here. He worked at the Zigzag Cafe for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we opened up July of 2019. Neat. Yeah, and uh, we've been kind of cruising ever since. You know? I know it's probably been hard throughout the pandemic, but glad to see that, uh, that you are here. We are um, really excited that, again, you are a part of this Esquire magazine thing, showing everyone in Seattle that we have the, the best of the best. What is your favorite, favorite thing about making cocktails and making cocktails at Roquette? Uh, favorite thing about making cocktails at Roquette is uh, unlimited creativity. Like putting grapefruit and coffee together. Yes. Which is, my friends, surprisingly delicious. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Oh my goodness. Mm. We got about a minute left, and I know you got the Mr. Cortez. Do you think you have time to show me how to make that? Easy peasy. Let's do okay. it. Okay. We're going to get it going. So this is a Roquette favorite. Uh, okay. It is just equal parts Mr. Black. All right. And mezcal. And mezcal, all right. Which is also quite popular nowadays. It is. We've seen a lot of that lately. We um, have done a couple of uh, shows on the road drinking a lot of mezcal. I mean, not a lot, folks, but you know, yeah. a little bit here Just and there. A splash, you know? A little splash here and there. Okay. Yeah. So it we, is kind of a smoky taste, doesn't it, Have It is. Um, and surprisingly, mezcal and coffee go very well together. And that's it? Just these two little that's things it. together? Yeah, maybe a little ice cube here or there, but uh, here we are. Cheers, cheers to you, Cheers Kai, to you. Thank Thanks you for having so me on. Much. All right, here we go. Oh. Mm. Woo! That does make you stand up and Woo! take notice. That's right. Hello. Let's go. Spring cleaning. Oh here we goodness. go. Oh, my goodness. All right, all the recipes for his delicious drinks are on our website. Just go check it out. Happy sipping, my friends.